I've never seen a big, heavy bull rider. Well, I was 150 pounds when I was riding bull. You ain't ever been 150 pounds in your life. Hey, you want to talk about bulls or hogs? Speaking of hogs, that's sweet right there. Who in the world would park in Willie's parking space? As much as I love messing with Willie, there's two areas I stay away from. His food and his parking. He's fixed to get hot. Hey, Willie. Yo. What are you doing? Uh, just strumming a little bit. What's up? Since when did you start playing the guitar? Oh, I've been playing a little bit, but mostly just as of yesterday. Yeah. What do you think? That's terrible. He can hate all he wants, but when I'm slaying it, he's going to be all jealous, Bill. Let me play another one. This would be better. No, 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 really. Or Jailsville. I don't, I'm not sure. I'm going to ask How do you spell Jailsville? Well, you want to be a rock star now? I've always been good at music. What do you want? Somebody parked in your spot. Who? I don't know. It's a motorcycle. Is it a bad-looking motorcycle with flames on the side of it? That's yours? Yeah, and guess who's not riding it? You! You don't even know how to ride a bike. It's never too late to start something new, son. Why don't you start working? That'll be new for you. Oh, that's a good one. Don't touch it. Of all the personas that Willie's tried to adopt overnight, health nut, police officer, wine connoisseur. Since when do you ride Harleys? Since now. This has got to be the most ridiculous. Is that a warrant shirt you're wearing? Yeah. Rock Never Stops Tour, 1994. Well, it looks brand new. That's what the description said on eBay. Have you been doing drugs? Landa, get this guy out of my office. I'm leaving. Good. I'll see her need you. Good luck with the tour, Slash. Chase is getting out of my office. Ah, missed again. Y'all notice Willie? Oh, we've been talking about it all morning. He bought a motorcycle. He don't know how to drive one. Hey, did you notice his beard's a little darker? It looks like mine now. I did notice that. Hey, talking about that, OK? I come to work the other day. There was a cockroach. A what? This sucker was at least probably foot, maybe 18 inches long. That is a big hey, roach. Hey, Jeff come up about that time, and hey, we both tried to stop him. Hey, you talking about fast. Real fast. Hey, that sucker was fast, Jack. Huh? What does this have to do with Willie's beard? Hey, I'm getting to that. Let the story unfold. Hey, look here. I'll tell a story like an M. Night come along movie. I'm just setting you up for a big twist. After me and Jeff tried to stop him, Jeff told me that, hey, Willie's dying his beard. Bam, twist. Well, why didn't you just tell me that? Or better yet, let Jeff tell the story. Well, Jeff, tell the story. Uh, basically, Corey told Jessica that Willie dyed his beard. The end. That's some story. People love a good twist in a movie. What do you think? Did you ever see Lady in the Water? It had a good twist in it. Hey, it sucked. Got me again, I'm gonna come along. I like side story better. You're missing the point here. Look, the man What's the point? The point is, the man bought a motorcycle yep. Yep. that he don't know how to drive. He's dying his beard. That's embarrassing. And he has a guitar, and he's attempting to play it. Yep. This could only mean one thing. Hey, he's starting a band. Are you kidding me? What do you mean? I want to be in a band. What's wrong with you people? He's having a midlife crisis. You think? We need to have a redneck intervention. All right, all right. We got you back. All right, I'm let's in. go. Redneck intervention. Right. I still think the band ain't a bad idea. I 
love this cheese. Makes me think of a good macaroni and cheese recipe I have. Of course, I put cheese in just about anything I cook. I like smoked cheese, too. Mm. You know what you're doing? Because I've when stuck it, hey, my finger in one of those when before. When it comes to catching critters, I'm your man. We have a little problem here at the Robertson house with mice. I think the worst problem we ever had was when one of them decided to make his home in Phil's beard. But Phil knocked that thing into the wall. Bless his heart. Hey, y'all. Oh, hush it. Hush it in there. I brought back your favorite dish. Oh, good. I love that dish. Yeah. I'm just around to the farmer's market. Do you need anything? Well, as soon as I get through giving Phil this cheese, for the mouse traps, yes. You gotta get rid of those suckers now. They got little poops everywhere. I think they're some in Phil's cereal. Say what? Drastic circumstances call for drastic measures around this abode. Whew, little malfunction there. My cornflakes are beginning to look like raisin bran. Phil, you know what we ought to do? Set more traps? No, we ought to get a cat. <laughs> I just love cats, but Phil doesn't want them in the house, so maybe these mice will get him to change his mind. I had about 50 cats when I was little. Sound like to me you had a cat problem. My favorite was one named Freckles, very soft cat. And then I had another one, Snowball. Of course, that was all white. I think people dropped them off outside of my house because they knew I loved animals. My mother couldn't drive. She ran over half of them. Gross. I think we need a cat, Phil. No cats in the house. I disagree. I concur. You concur with me or her? I always stick with Miss Kay. Yeah, that's what I thought. We're cat people now. It's all downhill from here. Here he is. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Before you ask, no, you can't take it. So, no rides here. Nobody wants to ride this. <laughs> sure you do. Jace, why you want to be hating on me, dog? I'm just trying to keep it rizzy. That means real. I think it means real. I'm gonna text Sadie. Why are you here? You're not working, so uh, what's the problem? You're showing some warning signs of... Uh... Of what, success? No. Hey, you're cool. Look, this is not cool. This is scary. It's called a midlife crisis, and you're in the middle of it. You just don't know what it's like when you're out on the open road, wind in your face. Neither do you. This thing ain't even left the parking lot. Ha! I'd get on this thing and ride it to California if I had to. Get on the bike, take it for a spin. Let's see it. Fine. I will. Somebody get ready to call 911. I can 100% ride that motorcycle. As if I'd buy something I don't even know how to use just because it looks cool. This look cool or what? Jeff, take a picture right here. Nice. It does look awesome, though. I'm on it. He's on it. He's hanging on he's, one oh, 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 He's got the kickstand up. OK. That's, That's, a, big fine, huh? right That's a big step. He's got the kickstand up. I'm on it. Crank that sucker. Watch yours, boys. It's kind of loud. Whoop. 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 How about that, huh? Is that cool? It still hasn't moved. OK, I don't know how to ride it. <laughs> <laughs> Willie, I'm proud of you. The first step to solving any problem is admitting that you have one. <laughs> I told you! Hey, stop, you. Hey, stop, hey, stop laughing. <laughs> Although, when you think about it, it's kind of the easiest. It was obvious he can't ride it. Shut up. Easy rider. All he's going to do is sit on it. I tell you, he couldn't ride that thing. Fine, I don't know what I'm doing. I've never ridden it. I had okay. it dropped off. But it's there and it looks cool. Jeff, hey, let me sit on it and you take a picture of me. So take a picture of me, Jeff. If you All put right. a scratch All on right. that, I'm I ain't gonna, gonna put nothing on it. Say cheese, sir. Si. P. Close enough. Riding a, a motorcycle is about like riding a bicycle, except you don't have a pedal and you go about 40 times faster. Hey, first thing you gotta do, look here. You straddle this beast, then you reach up here and you grab it by the horns. Most important thing is, hey, you gotta take the coating off this thing. I wanna be able to peg this baby out one point. <laughs> this is high gear, and hey, if you run this in mud, hey, then you reach down here and put it in four-wheel drive. It's 
It's got two wheels. Hey, what's your point? Let's don't get sidetracked here. Willie's going through a midlife crisis. No, I'm not. The senior citizens are at it again. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? I can take crap from Jace, but I ain't taking no lift off no beer conditioning baby Jeff. <laughs> hey, you can shut your mouth, you little fart. <laughs> You're the scrawniest, weakest one of the bunch. I'm tougher and way better looking. Where you gonna beat us at? Shopping? Shopping, weightlifting, running? <laughs> no, I know where you run. You run wherever Jessica tells you to go. Thank you. Ooh. You run your oh. mouth, too. Ooh. Hey, this sounds like the Battle of the Brothers to me. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. All right. All right, let's meet back in 30 minutes. Let's do it now. Oh, we gotta eat lunch first. That's a good point. We do need to eat lunch. lunch. Let's eat Let's lunch. See. All right. Jeff, bring your Kleenex. Y'all get your diapers. And may the best brother win it. All right, for the first event, this is what you're gonna do. We know what we're gonna do. Whoever pulls the truck the farthest wins. There's a strap and a truck. Let's get ready to... Pull a truck. Put him four wheel drive. You can do it. You Put him four wheel drive. Come on, come on. It has not moved. No, it ain't moved. It has not moved a centimeter. Is the parking brake on? Uh, let me double check. You didn't check the first time. John. Yeah, it's on. Come on. Uh oh. Oh, hey. oh, oh, hey. oh, 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 hey. oh, 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 now we're getting somewhere. I'm about to pull this truck all the way across Louisiana. What was that, about five feet, six feet? Oh, it's a solid foot and a half. You sure? I'm positive. There can only be one winner. Let me work into it. You may be the biggest brother, but I got something you don't. You scared? Strength. You're in second place. When I was a kid, Jason and Willie used to torture me. I said to myself, one day, you will pay. Jeff, give up now. Today is that day. Stop hey. now while you're You gotta keep, going. Uh, you gotta keep going, uh, you gotta keep going. Keep going, keep uh, going. Can't do it. Like, yes. Uh oh yes. We have a winner. In your face. No, this is not in my face. You cheated. He's got on tennis shoes. This thing's rigged. The man is using performance-enhancing shoes. He's got tennis shoes on. We got boots He's on. He's got on tennis shoes. You got tennis shoes on. That's under protest because the tennis shoes. Protest denied. Move on to the next event. Hey! What is this? Oh. Endurance test. Endurance test. Endurance. Yep. All right, look here. Up until this point, hey, this competition's been a real snooze fest. What does this have to do with endurance? Look here. You got to eat as many of these hot peppers as you can. I usually like a good snooze fest, but hey, this one, this is the bad kind. Okay, if you can stand the heat, you're young. If you can't, you're an old idiot, so get out of the kitchen. I'm fixed to kick this competition up a notch, like Emerald or Le Legacy. Okay, bam! Bam! What now are you, why doing you eating them? them? They taste great. Bam! Are they hot? Yeah, they're hot. Bam! I ain't a wimp like you three. How hard can it be, then? Bam! All right, here's the big endurance. I got this totally in the bag. Jeff gets the runs from eating cereal. <coughs> and Jason's idea spicy <sighs> is black pepper. This is stupid. I mean, get out of Louisiana if you can't take a little heat. <laughs> but those peppers should be outlawed. I feel like I lost part of my tongue. That ruined his day. I think I'm gonna vomit. Oh, I mean, I will vomit. I just vomit in my mouth. Within the hour. This a draw. No, I ain't giving up. Come on. I can win this. Yeah, agree to the draw or me and Jason are gonna duct tape you to a pole like when you was a kid. All right, I'm done. Draw! All right, don't forget your capri pants, you bunch of women. You're not a normal human being if you can eat hot peppers like that. Bam! This cat is passing gas. Ugh. These cats are so much fun. I almost forgot they're supposed to be trained to kill the mice. Okay, I thought these cats were hired to do a job, as in 
catch mice. I know, but I'm trying to make him feel loved. See? He's still a little hostile over here, but... Oh, he's yeah, so Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying, yeah. He's so right. Me owning a cat. That's a big curve in the road there. Next stop, hands and knees in the flower bed. Okay, I got your groceries. Hey. You got a cat! A cat? Look again, girl. You got three? Yeah. I love them. Oh! How sweet is that? Phil, we're not getting rid of them. They're too sweet. Yeah, old Jessica there, Kay, is standing in a pile of that little sweetness right now. Ooh, that's disgusting. I just bought these shoes. All I can tell you, Americans, is when you hear the term, let's get a cat, look out, Jack. These days, your manhood can be stripped away from you in 24 hours. You never knew how it happened. First, they pass gas in your face. Then they barf. <laughs> oh, Phil. I'm just saying. Cute little rascals with all the little whiskers and the little softer licking their paws. I'm never letting these cute kitties go. If you saw what they did on top of your mother's quilt, you may change your mind. What'd they do? Little tinkle, 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 tinkle on your mother's quilt that she gave you. Oh. Now I guess I'll have to take them back. Well, that seals the deal right there. Time for early retirement. Oh, no. Don't take them there. I'll take them. You will? Hey, bingo. Oh. Jessica, I'm sure they'll bring you as much enjoyment as they did us. All right, phase three. What is that? I couldn't find Trivial Pursuit, so this is the next best thing. Shape recognition. Finally, I'm a shoe in for this one. Jeff can't even spell geometry. And Jay's. Why don't we just point at them? Star, X. Do I really need to even explain? Martin, this is ridiculous. Well, I can give y'all historical trivia or something. Hey, no, that's boring. Do the shape game. Who made him the boss of this thing? That was where we went wrong. Hey, do the shape game. Hey. Idiot, who's going first? Jeff, you up? Yeah. All right, here we go. Uh-oh. This is it, final countdown. You don't know your uh, shapes. You don't even know How your are you shapes, still alive? Dude. These boys better watch out, because they are on a highway to the danger zone. Man, I've been having gas pains all morning. Jeff, you're terrible. Oh, they give this stuff to kids? Three, four, <laughs> Need a five, heart transplant. Six, 16, 17. and 17. 17's the number to beat. Who's up next? I guess me. I'm going to win this round handily. Are you ready? Yeah. And then I'm going to stick it in their face. That shit's terrible. That doesn't count. Yeah, that doesn't count. That's what not are you the talking right about? One. That's not the right one. That ain't the right one. I won't fit. Ah. That ain't it. Hey, oh, hey. hey. No, that that's ain't it. Work. That one ain't counting. That one ain't what counting. Are you about? Wrong one. Oh. Oh. Okay. He did, he did one. get that one. What Two. does that prove? Three. He's not, he's not good Four. at shapes. Five. Oh, yeah, okay. I don't one, know my shapes. That one ain't the right that one. That ain't it. Well, you know what this proves? You wonder what's wrong with the kids. This terrible education. At least they'll know what a stop sign looks like. Apparently, you don't. Proves that I'm not good with toddler games. Hey, Jeff is starting to look like a genius, boy. Because, you know, I gave up toddler games when I was a toddler. Uh, All right, last man up, boss. You ready? All right. And we got a lightning coming out of shoot four. This is it. Time to show these ding-dongs who's best at a game meant for kids. Go. Crap. He's pretty good. He's way better than you. What are you talking about? Uh-oh, uh he ran into a snag uh -oh. there. He ran into a snag. You were laughing at me, huh? Time's running out. Better hurry. Better hurry. Better hurry. It's going to pop. It's going to pop. Oh! oh! That was it. I'll give you that one. I'll Here, give you that here's one. Here's all he didn't get. He didn't get enough. Two, three. I know how to count. 12, 13, 14, 15. Boom! Oh. Winner! And the winner. Whole thing. Little brother. That's that's little little brother. Nothing. Proves nothing. That's what I would have said if I'd have lost. You mean to prove to you who's the weakest? Yeah, what you got? Oh. 
You know how you know who the loser is? I gotta pee. My advice is just go for it. It's the guy duct taped to the pole. Willie, this is your day. You get the honors. Don't do it. No, I won't do it. <laughs> we'll get you in about a week. Oh, that's unfortunate. Think about that. You are cold. You boys are cold. <laughs> We're just proving our points, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, not funny anymore. Father, thank you for creating the world we live in. You have made us happy, happy, happy indeed. Thank you for this good food you blessed us with. Amen. 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 Dig in. Realizing you're getting older can be a little hard to deal with at times, but that doesn't mean that you can't have fun anymore. Even if you do feel older, your beard is a bit grayer and your back is completely thrown out from pulling a truck, you should keep trying to live life to the fullest because that's why we were put on God's green earth. Sometimes you just got to go for it. Yep, you sure are looking stove up. It's because Willie and Jace duct taped me to a pole. Poor baby. Revenge served his best cold. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, we just wasted a whole day. How's that different from any other day?